Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering how to use the Elementor Pro Media Carousel widget. All right, so before we dive in, I just wanted to quickly mention that if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend picking it up. If you want to do so and support my channel, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. I also wanted to mention that I've got a whole playlist of videos covering all of the Elementor Pro elements. And if you want to see those, be sure to subscribe. And with that out of the way, let's dive into this tutorial. So right here, I have a dummy website, just a basic theme that I use with Envato elements with the template here. I'm going to go down here and add a new section. Click the plus right here to get the structure area. And then I'm actually just going to search for media carousel. Again, this is a pro element, so you're going to need Elementor Pro to use this. I'm going to drag it in and drop it in right there. So by default, we're actually starting with five different slides, which is a little bit odd to me. Usually you would think it would be an even number, but regardless, we can go and change these slides as needed. Like all of the elements, if you wanted to go and delete one, you could just click this X right here. And then you can also duplicate like that, add four, five, six to add or reduce the number of slides. Now with these media options here, we can use the video or we can use an image in these slides. So if we were to click on image one right here, you can see that we have type and this is image or video. So let's just go and add an image here. If we click on that, we can go to a media library and see images that I already have on the site here. And let's just say I wanted to add this one right here and then insert the media. So you can see that now it is in place in this first one. Another thing we can do is go and add some more. So I'm just going to go and quickly add some to these different images and I'll just paste these in. Now let's say we wanted to add a video to this third one right here. If we wanted to, we can go and I'm going to grab a video link from YouTube that I have here. I'll just copy that and let me go back over here and go to the video side and item three. And now you can see it has video by default there. If we enter our video link, we can just put it right in there and now it will go to our video. However, there's no image or basically a thumbnail for this video. So if I wanted to, I can go and click on that and let's just go and add this one here as the thumbnail. And now you can see that there is the video icon over it. And if we were to actually go and click on that, let's update it real quick and then preview the changes right here. If we scroll down and we go down to where the video is, you can see it right there. If we click on it, it goes into this light this box right off. here and it shows another video that I've made within a light box. So it opens up in this larger view on the actual screen. I really think videos are the way to go with these unless you just want regular images. If you see on a regular image and you want to click on it, it doesn't do anything when you click on it. Only the video is gonna open it in the light box like that. So that's the difference between how each of those will look. Now, if we go back over here, let's just go and add a few more images to these. I'll just add some random ones here. Hopefully I'm adding different ones each time. And I'll add that. And then lastly down here, I'll add another image, this one right here. So now we have all these images. I'm just gonna go and click update right there. And we have more options down below. So right here we have the effect of slide. If you wanted to change that, we can make it fade. And you'll see what that looks like here if we go to update and let's go and preview the changes over here again. I'm going to scroll down and you can see them as they go. They just fade one to the next, but you may notice there's only one image showing here. So what we can do is we can go back over here and you can go to cube as well. Cube is kind of an odd one. You can see this shape around it right now, but if you wanted to have more than one, you'd want to enable the slide and then choose slides per view. So by default, it has three. If we wanted to change that and have six, we could have six, but you can see it gets kind of smushed. I would recommend probably doing four at most. I think three actually looks really good how they have it set up. Two or three, I think would look the best. And then slides to scroll. So if you wanted to move one at a time and go one slide to the next, this is what you would leave it as. So it's C, it slides only one over to the video. So if you wanted to see it slide more than just the one like we did with the video, you could go two and then it would move over two or three. So you'd have three different images each time. If you went with three, it would show these three and then it would show the other three since we have six total and it's three per view. 
So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to leave it as one just so it slides one at a time over, kind of like you would see in a normal slider image. Now you can adjust this as needed, but I'm just going to leave it as is for now. And then we can go down to additional options down here. So in additional options, we have the option to change the arrows on the edges here. It's hard to see them, but you can see this one over here right now. On the edge is an arrow right there. So you can change that and toggle that on and off. And I like to actually have that off and use the dots that are at the bottom right here if somebody wants to toggle. I think it's almost too much to have two different options to toggle and one is fine. So you can have actually different things like fractions. It'll say one out of six. So you know there's six different images there. And progress gives you this little bar at the top of the images. I'm not too crazy about that, but it is an option. I prefer to use the dots. I think people understand what that is more. But I do think the fraction would work fine as well. Now the transition duration right here is set to 500 and that is a half of a second. It's 500 milliseconds. So by default, we also have it set up as autoplay. You can adjust this and make the number higher if you want it to stay on slides longer. And then also you can turn autoplay off so they would have actually have to manually change between each slide. Now this autoplay speed is at 5,000, which would be five seconds. And then you can have an infinite loop on like we do right here where it's constantly changing from one to the next. And you can have pause on hover. So if I went over it, it stops the slides. And I like that effect because I think if people are pausing over it, they're likely to click on it or they want to see what it's about or learn more about it or just see the image in general. So it makes sense to have this pause on hover and pause on interaction enabled in my opinion. Now down here, we also have overlay. If we went to turn that on and put text, you can see that it just picks the name from what the image is called. So if we went right here and this one says working, if I went back to the dashboard and went to media and then found this image right here, it says title working. So that is where it's going to pull that title from. So this one says setup, this one says coworkers, this one says teamwork, and that's the title of all these images in the media library here. So you can see right here, coworkers, and then this one would be workspace and that is what would display on each of these things so workspace is right here as an example if you want to enable that you would leave that if not you put it as none for the overlay they also give you the icon option where you can then see an icon like the plus right here where you hover over it and you see this plus or you can see an eyeball right here or you can see if it's a link right here or you can just leave it as nothing it's totally fine I'm going to leave it as none for this, but if you wanted to change that so you can see what the title is or an icon, that is where you would do it in that overlay. Image size, I would leave as full as well. And this is because you want it to fit and cover the whole area. If you reduce the size from full, let's say we go and make it thumbnail, you're going to see the images get more distorted right here and it's harder to see what they are. So you want to leave it as full, in my opinion, so you can see a nice clear image when you hover over it and you see these different images displayed in the media carousel now if we went over and went to the style tab here we're going to have some more options you can see space between that's what is this space right here this white space between the images it's a little difficult to see so if we were to go right here and space and then increase that you can see there's more space between the images it's a little easier to see with this one on the right than this one because it's so close to the same color and right here you can see it more. I would recommend doing it like 10 or 15. If you want it to have no space between and have them button right up next to each other, you would just put that at zero, just like that. Now, if you wanted to, you can also add a border and a background color if you'd like. I actually am not gonna go through that, but if you want to, you can add that and you can add padding as well. Down here we have options for a light box and we can add colors to that and change the video width. So you saw when I clicked on the actual light box over here for the video, how big it was. And if we go right back over here, let's just go and click on it. You can see how wide it is right here. You can adjust that in this section where it says video width and change that as needed. I like the size of it right here. I think it's nice and clean good size light box right here. Everyone's going to be able to see what that is. So I'm going to just X out of that for now. And that is how we would make some simple changes to our media carousel widget here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did enjoy it and you'd like to see more Elementor Pro videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.